I'm Pam. I'm here again with McKaylee. We're here to bring you a Scorpion Intensive Flyer Flex class. Okay, today's warm up is going to start with 15 seconds of high knees. Followed by 15 burpees. arm circles forward and 15 arm circles backwards warming up those shoulders We're gonna do five neck rolls to each side. <laughs> Bringing our right arm across our chest, holding for a count of 10. Switching to the other side. Then bringing our right arm up above our head, pulling on our elbow, stretching out our tricep. And switching sides. Opening our feet up nice and wide. Bring our arms up overhead, reaching over to the right side and holding for 10. Keeping our chest nice and open. Three, two, one. Coming into a flat back, reaching all the way towards the wall, hinging at the hips. Three, two, one, reaching down to our foot, pulling up our toe with our opposite hand. Holding for 10. Staying on our hands, coming into a high lunge. For 10. Coming down onto our forearms on the inside of our knee for 10 more. Keeping that back leg nice and engaged. Dropping our back leg, straightening our front leg, coming in nose to knee, toe to the ceiling.
sliding into the split, keeping our chest nice and tall, making sure our hips are square, back shoes are under, legs are straight. Reaching down to our front foot, getting our chest to the floor. Chest up nice and tall, reaching back to our back leg. And chest up nice and tall. 10 more seconds here. And chest up. Good, coming out. Coming and standing up nice and tall, feet nice and apart. And we're gonna repeat on the other side, arms up and over. Flat back. Down to our toe, flexing that foot, grabbing with the opposite hand. Good, coming into that high lunge on your hands. Dropping down to our forearms on the inside of our leg. Dropping that back knee, straightening our front leg, nose to knee, toe to the ceiling. Sliding into split. Chest nice and tall, squaring off your hips, tucking those shoelaces under. Chest to the floor, reaching towards our front foot. Chest up tall, and reaching back. And chest up tall, getting ready to do that one more time. chest up tall and come out slow. Standing back up, feet nice and wide, interlocking our hands behind our back, reaching forward, hinging at the hips, letting our arms float, stretching out our shoulders. Hands come down to the floor. Go ahead and slide into that middle split. Go ahead and come out of that nice and slow, come into a pike. Toes are pointed, we're gonna reach all the way down and hold. Yeah. 
Staying in a pike, we're gonna grab our toes and flex our feet, pulling our heels up off the ground. Coming into a butterfly. Nose to your toes. Good, coming out of that, we're gonna get ready to bridge up. We're gonna do three bridges, holding for 10. And the first one, nice straight legs, push through those shoulders, trying to get our chest to the opposite side. Three, two, one, and come down. Breathe for a second. And up. Good, tucking that chin. And releasing slow and coming down. Getting ready for the last one. And pressing up. For three, two, one, coming down slow. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our rotating splits. So we're gonna start in the center, rotate and come back, rotate to the other side. Trying to keep our hips as close to the ground each time. I'm gonna do five. Every time you get to the right, that's one. Good, take your time. Make sure you're fully hitting each split before moving on. Moving on to over splits, you're gonna go ahead and find yourself something to elevate your foot. You can use a couch, you can use your bed, you can use a panel mat. Anywhere that's gonna allow that front leg to be straight. Once you're in it, we're gonna go ahead and drop your chest. Trying to get as close to the floor as possible. to fidget. We're only here for another 20 seconds. Lifting our chest up and coming out slowly. Rotating to the other side.
lifting our shoulders nice and slow and coming out slowly. For our next stretch, we're gonna start in a pike. You're gonna take your right leg and cross it over your left. And then we're going to drop onto our left forearm and lift our hips like a side plank, reaching our arm up overhead, keeping our chest nice and open. We're gonna hold for 10. Keeping that core engaged, lifting our hips. For three, two, one, come on down. We're gonna do that two more times. And lift. And come on down. And back up. Last one. And come on down. Good, we're gonna set up on the opposite side. Now for the opposite side, starting with our legs straight out, crossing our left leg over, dropping onto our right forearm, and lifting our hips. Good, extending that arm overhead. For three, two, one, and come down. Two more times. And lift. And down. Getting ready for the last one. And lift. Making sure our hips are nice and stacked, our core is engaged. And down. For our next drill, we're going to do a side plank in a lib position. And hold for 10. And come on down. We can do that two more times. Pressing that forearm in the ground for stability, squeezing our core, and making sure our lip is glued. And down. Last one. Lift. And down. Good, repeating on the other side. Two more. Good, engaging that core, keeping our, our hips stacked, knee forward. Three, two, one, and down. Last time. And down. For our next drill, we're gonna come onto our knees. Arms are in front and we're gonna arch back and hold. Arch as far as you can, let yourself fall. Good. Holding and breathing through the stretch. Slowly coming up. We'll repeat that one more time. And reaching back, arching back. 
Good, repeating that drill, standing up. So coming onto our feet, nice and wide, getting a good platform for stability, arms are relaxed and reaching back. Leading with our shoulders. Good, coming as low as we can and holding. Coming out slow and arching back, leading with our shoulders and hold. Fifteen more seconds. I hope you're going to lay it out for me Cause I'm backing up to where I used to Five, four, three, two, and come out slow. Okay, so for our next drill, we're gonna come down to our stomach, extend our arms, and then reach back for our right foot with our left leg. And we're gonna hold. Coming out slow and switching sides. Five more seconds. Good, coming out slow. Going back to our first side. This time returning back to our stomach. Bending our right leg and reaching back with our left leg, trying to get that scorpion grip and extending our arm up to the ceiling. Good, it's okay if you let go, you're just gonna try five times to try and get that scorpion position. Good, you can use a little rock to help you once you make contact, rotate that shoulder. Last one. Very good, other side. Left leg making contact and rotating. Taking your time through these drills. Good, and once you're able to extend your leg straight, if you wanna challenge yourself, try and get it to tap the floor in front of you. Right here, we're working on making contact, using our opposite arm to control ourselves and help us stay nice and square, squeezing our core, engaging our legs.
Take your time, extend, and back. Very good. Okay, moving on, we are going to do scorpion wall kicks. Facing the wall, place your hands flat, and we're gonna kick hard 10 times, trying to get our foot to touch the ceiling behind us. You can make contact with the wall in front of you while maintaining a straight leg. We're doing 10 kicks on each side. Make sure that leg is kicking straight behind you. Hips are staying square the whole time. We're gonna work on scorpion kicks with the objective of making contact with our leg at the base of our neck. If you can grab it and hold, great. If not, working on that swing motion with our arms coming up and overhead and our foot coming to the base of our neck is the goal. Right now, we're just working on the kick. We are not worrying, focusing on extending that leg at all. Just making contact. Good, and repeating on the other side. Just reaching up and overhead, kicking hard, trying to get as close to that spot where we would connect as possible. Good. Finishing off today's scorpion flyer class with body lines. Good. We're doing three pulled scorpions here. Now we're going to go for three kick scorpions, doing that same motion as our kick drill, and then extending our leg. Making contact, and then extending. Good. going for three needles, you can pull or kick however you are more comfortable with this variation. and repeating our scorpions and needle on the opposite side, starting with three pulled scorpions. Just go as far as you can, focusing on the rotating of the shoulder and reaching back. It's okay if you don't make contact. It is okay if they don't look the same on both sides. Our bodies are not meant to be completely even, but we wanna make sure that we train the muscles to keep the balance in our spine. It's okay if the kick scorpions look just like your kick drill right now. That will come with progression. Just make sure that we're keeping our bottom leg nice and engaged. All right guys, so that's it for our scorpion flex class. We hope you liked it. We'll see you next time.